Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you a quick video on how to make a set of actions and also use button mode which I find quite interesting. So one of the first things first, this is CS6 but I think it's the same in CS5. If you go to view and uh, window sorry, and make sure your actions are turned on or you can press the shortcut key. Now if we go here, usually there's a set of default actions here, but I clicked on this little tab here and, I, well let's reset the actions. That's the default actions when you get into the actions. But if you drop the little tab down, and what I usually hit is clear all actions and hit OK. So now you can, it's up to you whether you want to do that, but I'm doing it for the sake of the video because I like to make my own actions. So you're probably thinking now, well, I never used to use actions, I just clicked and did it, but lately I've found out that they don't half speed up your workflow as long as you make the correct actions, meaning I don't use actions for converting to black and white, but I use actions for copying and pasting, for boosting the colour on the image, which I do on a, on, on a lot of images, I always boost the colour a little bit or warm it up a little, uh, so why not create an action for that? So. Without further ado, if we drop this little tab down here and we can hit, um, sorry, a uh, new action, new, new action, right? So if we call this, um, in fact, I'll go, I'll do it down here. I'm going to click this instead. And instead of calling it set one, I'm going to call it JJB photography. I don't know if I've spelt that right because my mic's in my way, so I may have not have done. So, so basically what that's done now is that's created a name for the set that I'm going to use. And that's this icon here, not the, this one, this one. So now if I click this one, this will add the actions but in the JJB photography set. So once you've made 50 actions, if you click this 50 times now, not this one, they'll all be put into JJB photography. And then that way, I know they're all my actions and I'll show you how to save them out. Then if you format your computer, you can just load them all back in again. So I'll just cancel that again. So it's the third icon in to create a new set. So I call them the name of your business or your second name. Then let's click this one and let's give it a name now and we'll call it Colour Boost, right? So C O L O. I don't know whether I'm spelling this right, guys. I'm not saying I'm. And you can also give it a colour. So let's n n red, make it red. So now, if I hit record, I can go to filter, immigrant, uh, nick colour effects. Pull the saturation up a little bit. Move the warmth up a little bit and it okay. I mean, this image has already been warmed up a bit, so I wouldn't usually do it with this image. But you can see there now it's just warmed up. So if I now click stop, that's it. I can now delete that and I've made the action. Now the action's here. Now you can usually just click on the action colour boost and you can click play here. But I'm going to show you a new way. If you drop down the tab here and click button mode, you see you get your button mode there, I can just click that now and that will boost the colour on my image. Now I don't know if you'll see that, but it did work. And it's just a one button press, so if I just um, go to File, Revert. So I'll tell you what we're going to do now, I'm actually going to make the Revert command to take it back to the original image before you did any work on it. I'm going to record that as an action, so I'm going to come out of button mode Go back to this icon, not this one. If you click the third one, you'll make a new set. So I want to make all my actions and I want to make them under JJB. As you can see, this no action. So if I hit this, revert. Sorry, the mic's in my way. Now nah, I will put this one to orange. Now if I just um, go to file, and then I can go file, revert, and it's recorded the action. Now I can just stop that. Go back to button mode, and now I can go, um, 
So we'll go like that and then I'll flatten the image. Close that down. Bring my actions back up and it revert. And it'll take me back with just one click. Um, let's give another example. Let's make another one and call it sharpen image. I'll just call it sharpen for the video. And we'll make it yellow. You can make a shortcut key as well for it here. So instead of actually clicking with your mouse. So if I hit record, what I'm going to do on this one though. Sometimes think about your actions. What you're going to do. I've made them a couple of times and thought, oh hang on. I should have used a background layer and I should have used this. So you might have to make them a couple of times. But for this one I'm going to go command J to make a background layer. And then I'm going to go to filter, sharpen, unsharp mask. And I'm going to leave it at 65. No, I'll put it to 70 at one pixel and I'm going to hit OK. And now I'm going to stop the recording. I'm going to delete it. I'm going to go back to button mode. And now I'm going to zoom in a bit. We'll just go in to say something like this. And I'll hit sharpen. And as you can see now, I've got a layer. And the good thing about doing the layer then, if it's a bit much, I can turn the opacity up and down. So... Make sure that you use your, your loaf when you're doing um, things. So like now for a copy and paste, if I want to, I can go back to the... Oops, what have we got done here now? Look. I can go back from button mode, um, hit a new set, and I can call this copy and paste. So if we call it copy and paste and we make it green. So for this one, I would select my selection tool. Make a selection. Go to edit, copy, edit, paste. And that's it. I can stop the action. The only thing I found out what you've got to do when you, when you do this is... So let me just actually just I'll just show you what I'll happen now if we delete that and we click the action. What's going to happen is on any of your other images you'll get this selection. So what you actually need to do it to make the uh, image, but what you need to do then you need to just go under and delete the selection bit and just delete that so that this copy and paste now will work. So I can now select a head. And just click copy and paste and it'll put a red on a new layer. But I couldn't get the copy and paste command to work without selecting something and then deleting it after I'd recorded it. So that's a good thing because I do a lot of slimming um, by Sue Bryce. Um, I got the technique off her. So I'd go like that and then bang, I'm already on a new layer with just one click. I ain't got to select, then put copy and then put paste. I can just do a one button click. So anyway, I'm not going to go on any more in telling you how to make actions. I'm just going to delete that. So once you've got your actions, come back out of button mode, select your, select your JJB photography, because all these actions now are underneath JJB photography. Select it, go file, and you can save your actions. Now I'm not going to save them because I've already done it. And then if I format my computer, let's just go to actions, clear all actions. OK, so now I've got no actions. I've just formatted my computer. I'm now going to go to load actions and I'm going to go to my dump drive and I'm going to select JJB photography and bang. I mean, I'll go and there you go. I've got I mean, I need to make more myself, um, but there's my actions. I've got at the minute I've got like burn, color boost, copy and paste, dodge. Because I'm always dodging shadows and burning shadows. Skin soften, which is portraiture. I've got revert image and I've got white and teeth. Um, so basically, if I click white and teeth now, I'm, I'm ready now. I've got all the settings to zoom in. And just start whitening teeth if I'm on the brush tool. Um, and now if I just paint... I mean, the brush is too big, but you can you can see what I mean. The mic's in my way, so I'm struggling to press my keys. But you can see that's my white and teeth. Um, 
I could soften image. So if I click that, that should now... To soften image, though, you have to have... Um, uh, well, me personally, I use portraiture to soften the image um, because I use that all the time and I think it works a great. So I hope this helps and I highly recommend you do it. I've never really done it, but I'm finding it useful now because when I usually go out and do a model shoot or, or, or put something on the internet, I always boost the colour on each one. Um, There's another one that I'm going to do where I... Because not only do I... But boost the colour, but I also I also use this in Colour Effects Pro 4. Um, I'll just show you. Image borders for the internet. So I'm going to do another one in a minute where I boost the colour and put the image border on it. So that when I'm coming to put it on the internet, one click, bang, I've boosted the colour a little bit. Because I don't know if you know this, but when you go from an, a large JPEG down to the, for like an 8 by 600 web so if you go file uh, save for web and you knock it down to the height say 800 and you click uh, so you go from like 10 meg to 79 kilobytes or 120 you lose a bit of color like that image i, I can see it. i don't know if you can but a face doesn't look as colorful now because we've shrunk the image uh, by the way i usually use bicube it's sharper in here so yeah i hope this helps Thanks for watching, and if you want any more Photoshop tutorials, feel free to send me an email. Please comment and subscribe.